it was an experience I would never want anyone to go through. I mean, it's just crushing, mind-boggling. Just out of nowhere, it's just, it's like uh, hitting a brick wall, an accident happening, where it just changes someone's life. It was the same thing. It's hard to put in words. It was the most terrifying roller coaster I'd ever been on. I didn't have any idea I would have a premature baby. I wanted at least seven, eight pound baby. <laughs> um, you know, no complications, um, just a healthy baby. Before she delivered, um, pretty much everything was going fine. Within a few minutes, it seemed like everything just went haywire. The nurse came running in and just wished her away. I remember just them putting the needle in, saying, "We're gonna, you, you're gonna go to sleep. You're not gonna feel this," and that was it. And after then, I don't remember, you know, um, anything. Only about what people tell me, and I think. <clears throat> Even though he was a pound and 14 ounces, I was relieved that he was alive. He was alive, and that he was in the doctor's care now. And that he was breathing. Um, that his heart was beating, I knew that. I really was in serious trouble and my child is fighting still for his life. Um, and I have another child at home. He would have lived a couple of days, but that would have been it. I mean, uh, we wouldn't have spent three months waiting without the March of Dimes. We would have lost Zeke. I mean, wow. Without the March of Dimes technology, we would have lost him. Every baby born would have an opportunity to live, to make it. It would be a wonderful vision, a wonderful vision to see that happen. Nowadays, because of technology, babies like Ezekiel are able to survive at a pound of being born. Babies at 26 weeks years ago wouldn't have made it. I feel very grateful that Zeke is here. Every time I look at Zeke, I'm thankful. I really am. Ezekiel ended up with um, meningitis. Never thought in a thousand years that would happen. Bacterial meningitis, which usually in 24 hours you die if um, they don't get you in and treat it. I mean, he has scars from the hernia repair. He has suffered a uh, hearing loss that will be there um, forever. He still chokes very easy. Even though the surgery corrected some of that, when it doesn't go down the right way, that's a horrifying thing to see your child turn blue. To sit here now and tell you about Zeke, about how he likes to play the piano, how he likes to make greeting cards, how he likes to, you know, cook in, you know, his, on his uh, play cooking uh, stove. And realize that at the same time, I may not have had a chance to see that. And just seeing Ezekiel in the classroom with his peers, he's a gift a perfect gift. 
And you have to sit back and say, wow, you know, they would have never been able to interact with him, you know, if he hadn't, if it hadn't been for the March of Dimes research. He is my perfect little baby, our perfect son, but there are things that will forever um, be there um, throughout his life. He's a wonderful kid. He's a wonderful kid. I love him dearly. You know, I'll give my life for him. Um, and I just hope that he can continue to develop, you know, and, and so he can be whatever he wants to be in the future. He has a strong purpose. He brought us here to tell the story and to share with others, to raise the awareness in order to save those that can't save themselves. He's just a joy to be with. He is a joy to be with. And I'm thankful again to the March of Dimes uh, for all they've done for Zeke. I am very thankful. <laughs> I don't know. Big <laughs> Story Take Four.